Knock, knock. Who's there? Ivan. Ivan who? Ivan to soak your blood. Please don't touch Edwin. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to be a pain in the neck. <laughs> hey, come see my act at the Chortle Portal. I promise it won't bite. <laughs> I literally want to suck your blood. Hmm, missing something. Fangs here. If you want to make it more authentic, he could bite your neck. No! I mean, this is fine. You're watching Fright TV. Up next, the season premiere of Vampires of Melancholia. This is it, Edwin. A whole new season of our favorite show. Can't wait to watch it. Just you and me. Hey, Luz! Do it over! Yeah. What are you doing here? The dreamboat is on Monday nights, remember? Duh! We're, we're here, here to watch VOM! First, please don't call it that. Second, you guys have never been interested in my show. Why are you- <gasps> There he is! Whoa, this place looks sick! <gasps> Blake Bradley! Who? Duh! Literally the cutest actor ever! Didn't you know he was gonna be a new character on VOM? Sigh. It's called- Yo! Anybody home? <gasps> Why is he literally so dreamy? Yikes! Who's that creepy guy? That's Edwin, the main character. Hey, hey Uncle Eddie! Tristan, my great-great-great-great-great-grandnephew. This is a surprise. Looking good. Are you sure you're really 300? What brings you to Melancholia? Just thought I'd crash a Casa Creepy for a while. Well, I must confess, I am not really accustomed to sharing my castle with mortals. No worries, bro. I can hang with anyone. Now bring it in. Bro hug. <sighs> Gorge! You can just tell he'd be a great boyfriend. What is happening? Sorry. Wait, who's she? Griselda, the other main character. She's on a quest to the underworld right now. If you guys had watched the show from the beginning, you'd- Why are her teeth all pointy? Wait, his teeth are pointy too. Because they're vampires. I'm being told we have breaking news. Please don't be one of my sisters. Tucker, I'm here at Flip's Food and Fuel, where two unknown bandits have just made off with a carload of beef jerky and a cotton candy machine. They're not unknown. They're my sisters. Their betrayal hurts more than this brain freeze. I'm getting word that the bandits are currently leading police on a slow speed chase. Where did it all go wrong? One has to wonder, where did it all go wrong for these girls? And why is a four-year-old working at a gas station? Interview over! Wait, don't forget to come down to Flip's Food and Fuel! Home of the Flippy! Now the interview's over. I was watching that. Ah! Lucy, at least you're still normal. Ah, not normal! I was bitten by Lana's liberated vampire bat. Greatest day ever. Clyde. L L L Lucy? I come with a message from the sister who cannot be named. Said sister would like you to join her at the county fair tomorrow. I would love to accompany the lovely l unnamed sister to the county fair. Yay! <laughs> How are you going to make Bobby jealous with someone who's lifeless and covered in blood? Oh, wait. That's exactly what Griselda did. The universe is empty, and there's nothing to be sure of but darkness. There's no music in the void, so why bother anyway? Embrace the emptiness, own the futility. The only song worth singing is silence. Heavy, man. Look, empty bottles of coffin polish. And this is the good stuff. For that eternal shine. You guys, he's moving at night. He threw out his mirrors. He ordered bloody steaks. He has coffin polish. This guy is a vampire. Gasp! Do you know what this means? He could turn us into the undead. Gasp! Gasp. Our lifelong dream! Just think, one bite from him and we'll never have to wait for another season of Vampires of Melancholia, cause we'll be living it. We can be just like Edwin, forever. Da -da -da. Some for you, and for you, a lot for you, and some fresh own egg for Count Lucila. 
garlic bread, Lucy? Yes. Oh yeah, forgot the no garlic thing. Family picture time. Oops, forgot Lucy doesn't show up. <laughs> <laughs> Sigh. 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 Okay, you've been doing that for ten minutes. What's wrong, Luce? <laughs> Don't tell anyone, but I've been reading this new book series about a werewolf, and it feels like I'm cheating on Edwin. I stick with the vampire. Werewolves are hairy and gross. Ugh. Which is exactly why she should go for one. <laughs> But Edwin was her first love. Don't these books sound a little old for Lucy? Of course not, dear. When I was a girl, I read a series about a cute lumberjack. Groan. Gasp. <sighs> what the? Sigh. I gotta pee. Bathrooms upstairs and down the hall to the left. Sigh. Hello? Sigh. Sigh. I know he's not really my type, but he's so... What's the word my sisters use? Cute. Don't worry, Edwin. You'll always be my undead soulmate. But until we're united, it'd be cool to have someone to hang with. You think I should just talk to him? I knew you'd understand. You have to look the part with a full vampire makeover. Ew, do we have to look so sickly? Well, it's a really important part of watching the show. But if you're not into it and you'd rather just go back to watching the dream boat... Don't be ridiculous. Come on, Lenny, it'll be good contouring practice. Look how much their cheekbones pop. <gasps> good point. <sighs> Wait. Look, I'm Tristan's weird old uncle. Next, you have to see the world from a vampire's perspective. <sighs> this is giving me a migraine. Yeah, and I'm getting a headache. <gasps> Wait, is that my missing jelly sandal under the couch? <gasps> Woohoo! <gasps> and my missing ring! <gasps> and Lucy, I found your creepy dolls. Give me those. We should def do this every week. We'll never lose anything again. Sigh. Next, you have to watch the show as a vampire would in one of these. This provides zero lumbar support. It's also really hard on your back. I cannot spend a whole hour in this. Wait, I know. Decorative throw pillows. They'll add support and a little zhuzh. Ooh, and we can use the lid to make a fun TV tray. Wait, there's still one more ritual. This is an absolute must. Toasting every new episode with a refreshing glass of homemade blood. Ew! I don't know if I can handle this. I totally get that. It's not easy being a fan of this show. I'll understand if you guys want to bail. Wait! Just like blood, but now they're delicious and full of antioxidants. Yay! Cheers! Sigh. Oh, oh, it's starting! My darling Griselda, how I wish you were here to help me endure this visit from my boorish nephew. He actually asked me if I was a boxers or briefs man. <laughs> ah! Oh, yeah! Yo, Uncle Eddie! Wanna play some cornhole? What happened to my castle? I redecorated, bro! Put some boom in your gloom! And look, got you a lid so we can match in the thatch! Now how about a selfie with your favorite nephew? I told you I don't show up in these. Oh, right, my bad. Uh, what's going on? Brother, if you have valuables to protect, you can store them in the safe room. Why is the bathroom the safe room? Because of the cameras I installed last year. You installed cameras? No. I think it's the perfect place to dump our stuff. <laughs> Get it? 
Whoa, Toots, you're leaving me locked in here with Count Creepy? Uh, please. Edwin is the one who should be complaining. Okay. Okay, we all want the letter to be for us. How do we figure out who it's really for? Simple. Since the writer is clearly shy, we each need to send a signal to the person we think wrote it, letting them know we're interested. Then, they'll probably send a second letter, giving us more information. Um, how do you know all this? Vampires send a lot of secret admirer letters. They may be passionate, but they're also painfully insecure. Sending a signal it is! <sighs> Sigh. Ah, the futility of life. Am I right, Silas? Oh. Thanks, but he only drinks blood. No problem. Does he take O positive or B negative? Well, Edwin, Rocky doesn't like me as myself. He doesn't like me as a regular normal girl. He just doesn't like me. Sigh, I was a fool to think it could ever work with a mortal being. Poor kid. Thanks. Bedtime. Ah! Dang it. Fangs, pass the blood sausage. Thank you, Fangs. Uh... Our breed is dying, Tristan. We must continue to transform mortals or face our greatest fear. Fewer dungeon parties? No, dense nephew. Extinction! That was deeply, deeply disturbing. I give it two severed thumbs up. Sigh. Now we must wait eons for the next season. Oh, such agony, which normally I love, but not right now. Look, a light's on in our favorite creepy house. Mm, looks like someone moved in. They never stay long. The last renters ran screaming after five minutes, probably because of the... Demon infestation. Property taxes. Clearly they didn't appreciate its charm. Oh, let's go examine the fresh meat. I'm a bat. <laughs> you monster. What have you done to Edwin? Brought him into the 21st century. You're welcome. That's my least favorite century. Me? I call left arm rest. Oh, oh. Next. On Vampires of Melancholia. Griselda, I know you're only seeing that werewolf to make me jealous. <laughs> Next, on the audition. Hey, I had the remote first. Sorry, dude. We also voted on tonight's TV show at the sibling meeting. Grrr. Will someone please hand me my poetry journal? I have some very strong feelings to express. Oops, clumsy me. <laughs> You guys, what are you doing? Lynn broke Edwin's fang. Tell her she has to pay for his dental work. He's a statue! The only thing I'm paying for is you getting your brain checked. He must be inside turning more vampires. Well, we're next. Future vampires, descend. There he is. Fight us! Turn us into vampires! We beg thee. Can you get off my casting director, please? But he's a vampire. Ugh, okay. I know I'm pale and I work for Vampires of Melancholia, but can you spare me the wisecracks? Wait a minute. You guys are filming Vampires of Melancholia? Yes, and you kids are ruining my big break. Confused vampire number seven is the role of a lifetime. Mrs. Bernardo, why didn't you just tell us what you were doing yesterday? Oh, a good actor never breaks character. Uh, I mean, uh... <laughs> Okay, that's enough. It's time for you meddling brats to go. You're in the shot. Sigh. Wait. Huh? Huh? These kids are the gloomiest, creepiest, weirdest creatures I've ever seen. Well, oh, so kind. Even their grandpa is creepy. Oh, <laughs> Boris is only nine, but still very flattered. They'd be great for the season premiere. They're obviously real goths and not just a bunch of randos from the mall. Wow, could this possibly get any better? This black cherry juice is simply smashing top notch. Edwin! Oh, cheerio, spooky children. He called us spooky. Watch the shoes, please. <laughs> Scene 40, take one. Rescued from your mortal state, my creatures of the night, 
Rise and embrace your newfound vampire power. <laughs> oh, huh? Yes. My minions, have you shed your earthly attachments? Our human life is no more. Yep. And you dudes are gonna love the no bedtime thing. Uh. Thanks for helping us, like, not go extinct. It was our displeasure. 